requires governments to do many things. First, governments must invest in human resources for health so that there are health workers close to people. They must also invest in a social protection floor so that people who want services can buy services. It's not good enough to have services when they cannot afford it. And the final point is supply chain management system. So, so if you are going to provide services, you must also provide supplies. So when they need drugs or they need supplies for, to, to provide health, they'll be there to do it. I think it's important for us to be able to provide good nutritional advice to young people so they eat well, balanced diet. They eat enough fruit, they eat enough vegetables, and they have a balanced diet with micronutrients. I think it's important. So those are things that we can do. And young people need to know about their bodies, so comprehensive sexuality education and access to services so we can prevent many things. And I'll give you an example. Today, the highest incidence of HIV occurs in the adolescent girls in Africa. They are the ones who suffer most. So if we can prevent that and we can give them the information, the knowledge, and the services to prevent it, we'll have done a great thing. I think with government, if government puts their mind to it, yes, because some, most of the things we're talking about here are things we are doing at this point in time. So governments, civil society, the private sector just need to be a lot more organized. And it's not expensive. It's just the fact that we need motivation, and we need leadership, and we need political will to put resources where it does matter. And if we do it, we'll get there.